UNI Volleyball hosted its spring tournament on Saturday, April 7th, and has two more spring tournaments left on this schedule. With losing just one senior, setter Heather Hook, the UNI Volleyball team is building new chemistry for next fall. Well, I think the biggest thing is you have to get better. And obviously we're coming off a, a really good season. And to me, that should be motivating uh, to be able to want more and do more. Uh, and you know, you lose one, but you lose a setter. It's the quarterback of the team. And, and obviously Heather brought a lot to our program in so many different ways. So yes, we're replacing one, but it's, it's a pretty big one. So a lot of time um, during the spring, we, we do focus on the individual, um, but obviously the connection with our setter uh, is huge. And you know, obviously Rachel has also been with us for a couple of years. So has been working with our players, um, but now it's her opportunity to possibly run the show. Rachel's been doing a great job. She's been pushing herself in workouts, pushing herself in the weight room, and I mean, you can see her behind me. She's in here getting extra reps in right now with Kalani, so I mean, she's working super hard, and it'd be a lot harder if it was someone that we haven't known for so long, but she's been here since I've been here, you know. I think the toughest part of spring is that you have to remind yourself every day, like, why you're here putting in time. Not that it means less than it does in season, but it's just, um, it seems so far away that sometimes it can turn into a grind. So just supporting each other through that and reminding each other like the end goals that we have for fall and what's coming up in August we're getting ready for. It's just good to like see kind of what everyone else has been working on in individuals for a few months, you know, like we're kind of apart. Like you'll see the DS is working on something or the outsides like they're working on a new set or something. And then when we come into team practice finally, like we all get to put it together and see how good everyone's gotten just in a few hours a week of just individual work. Uh, we have a senior class that it's first of all big, but we also have three of those seniors have been playing, you know, since they were freshmen, which I've always said it's hard to play as a freshman. We redshirt a lot of kids and then we have three freshmen in the same year that played. So uh, I think with them, you know, it's not all about their senior season and this is our last hurrah, but I think they know the potential of this team. But they also know that in order to reach that potential, we have to move forward and we have to work hard and we have to do some things differently than we've done in the past. Their ability to get in the gym and get touches. Uh, if you don't touch a ball all summer, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. So I just, at the end of the spring, we hope it's motivating for them to want to do uh, what they need to do in the summer.